So let's talk about something different because I'm kind of bored talking about Joe Buck and Troy Aitman um, eating boogers during the back game. Um, so it's halfway. Uh, yeah, it's halfway. It's halfway of the men's and women's college basketball season. And let's talk about the women's first. Hmm. I don't care. That's it. Now let's go to the men's. Hmm. Well, besides the whole tripping incident and the tripping incident and the tripping incident, let's talk about who could, come March, find their way to Phoenix. Hmm. Hmm. Now, in college, in men's college basketball, nobody knows who's going to win the national championship. That's what's so good about it. Last year, did anyone really think that Villanova could go into a national championship, could go into an NCAA tournament game and actually win last year? No. Not this guy. I thought it was going to be Buddy, Buddy versus Kansas again. But, with that being said, who do I think will be coming March a good to have a good shot of winning a national championship this year? Because again, like last year, it's anybody's game. So, who's good? The Big East. Villanova, obviously. They're going to get the one seed. They're going to get the one seed. Now, why is Villanova going to get the one seed? They're good. Um, they play very, very good man-to-man -man defense. They play great offense. They get everybody going, and um, they're very, they're just, they're very explosive this year. And last year is a big help. Keep, keep them going. Um... Who else is good? We'll talk about UCLA later. Um, the Badgers. The Badgers. I think they are going to be a very, very good sleeper team. Oh, yes. They might make it to the Elite Eight. They might even make it to the Final Four. They're that good. Braxton Kenyon, Nigel Hayes, Zach Showalter... Yes, I know Zach Showalter came from Germantown, but he's a Badger. And he's playing really well. So, let's talk about our surprises before we talk about predictions. Hmm. Surprises. Well, UCLA. It was a surprise. Way to go, Steve Alford. Way to go. You did it. Um, they're doing very well. Um, I think, I just want to see if they can actually not choke in the NCAA tournament. Um, because I, because they're a very good team. Um, they're, they're very well, they play very well as a team. They're, um, they got something going. Um, the other, um, team is... Is um, Florida State. Yeah, Florida State. Um, I w looked at the rankings and I'm like, they're ranked ninth. Holy, holy, holy shit. Yep. Um, so I think um, Florida State's another team that I want to look at. Um. They are, obviously, who knows, who knows who they, who they played for non-conference. A, a Bucknell team? Everybody plays Bucknell. Um, but, out of all those things, who do I think is going to win the national championship? Dorothy! Never make predictions often. Oh, that's right. 
I don't know who's gonna win. It's like it's like me ordering a smoothie. I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna order my favorite thing, which is kiwi strawberry or or very berry. I just don't know because, like I said, it's like a, it's like me picking a smoothie. You never know who who's actually gonna win, and you never know who's gonna actually show up. So, it might be Saint Ma Saint Mary's. Yes, they're good, and yes, they played Gonzaga today. Um, it might be Marquette, and Marquette plays today. It might be Louisville. It might be Wisconsin. It might be you know. It might be anybody. That's what's so important about men's basketball compared to women's. Where women's... I know who's going to win. They have a 90 game winning streak. And then and then once they lose, they're going to go on a 91 game winning streak. Or whatever. You know who's going to win women's. You don't know who's going to win men's. And that's the beauty part of it. 